What's up guys? Dirty Mike here. Uh, on my way to school. I haven't made a video in a while so I thought I'd make a truck vlog of the fur, the t ruck uh, I don't really know what you guys can see right now because uh, this is the first time I've ever done it and I didn't really have time to set up my phone to look at what you guys can, what, your, what you guys are looking at. And I kind of had to do it, set it up quick because I'll probably be late to school just for doing this. Um, first of all, shout out to, uh, I believe his name is 10727 on iFunny. Uh, he's like one of the only guys that actually cares about my videos. And he's always uh, asking me when my next one's going to be. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that. Um, so first of all, I was going to do a little uh, things about T-Ruck vlog that Zeke did about like the, like what Zeke did about his Firebird uh, so for a while for like f probably for at least a year my uh, heat switch right here only worked on uh, four like full blast and then like I, I never knew how to fix it and then my one of my friends told me uh, like this past weekend he's like oh it's just a $20 part and I had to like fix I just had to take that glove compartment out and then the, the part was just right there I just unbolted or unplugged the wire and unbolted the thing and I just put the new one right back in and it gave me all four speeds again and I was happy uh, also uh, there's this I kind of wanted to tell a story I promised someone else that I would tell a story about the dents in my truck uh, I'll actually probably get out right here and show you guys even though I'll be late to school I'm actually kind of a teacher's pet too, so I'll just be like, yeah, sorry I was running late. They'll be like, oh, okay, that's fine, you're perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, hazards. And I want to show you guys the dents. You probably won't be able to see them, because, I, again, I don't know what you guys can see. I don't know if you, you can see me right now, I don't know. So you can see these dents right here. And there's also the giant hole right there and no one really knows that no one ever really really notices it like I have a I have a buddy that's known me for years and has seen the T-Rock for a couple couple years and uh, and he uh, he never noticed the dents until I like pointed it out I think it's just because it's white since it's white it kind of like blends in and uh also uh the story behind that is i don't know if any of you guys know donnie nicky he actually went to my high school and uh he he was really good at football he ended up going pro for the tennessee titans and uh i believe that's the name tennessee titans yeah and uh he bought this truck and he actually lived right across the street from me and uh he moved down to tennessee but his mom still lived across the street watch this person pull out what the hell are you doing i have the right away idiot and uh so yeah he he bought this truck down in tennessee i believe and you know he was a football player pro football player always partying so he was drinking and driving and uh, I guess he slid off the road. This is what I've heard. He slid off the road and like hit a couple of trees or something. Like I remember the front two fenders were all messed up, but my brother got new ones to fix. Then that back bed, it was just too expensive to fix. And it's a V6 truck, two wheel drive, so he didn't really care for it. And so he just leave it how it is. It's, it still does its job, you know, still bed. And uh, yeah, so there's that story. And another thing that I don't like about this truck is the fact that there is no, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's no cruise control. These are just like big buttons. Like, what? What? This is the only button. And, uh, 
so I always have to keep my speed by just the throttle. There's a copper. I was slightly speeding. Yeah, that's whatever. And uh, so yeah, I, I don't have cruise control or like any of these buttons and it kind of sucks. Another thing would be all these wires. These wires right here, these were back in this switch. These were back in the, my golden days when I didn't know how to hook anything up. Uh, this, this is actually to a horn, but it doesn't work anymore. And there's another one down here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And those are for my grill lights, which I still use. You guys, the, those of you that actually see my truck on the outside in my pictures, you guys know uh, I actually use those. But I have one switch that I'm very proud of and it's down under here in this little hole and I like drilled the switch in and like bolted the switch to that little plastic part and it's like perfectly hidden no one ever finds it and I never use that hole for anything anyway oh I'm so tired what else what else what else what else Oh, another thing is the shaking. Uh, it, it shakes so much. It's like, and I think it's just tires. I'm not really sure. Oh, dang, a huge turkey vulture. Oh, it, it's just tires. And then my boss said it might be a bent rim. So this spring, I'm going to get new rims. Not like anything crazy. It's just like a different pair of stock rims, but I like the style a little better. And then I'm going to get new tires. I know a place where I can get four, uh, like, 60% tread tires for 100 bucks, which is a pretty dang good deal. And that should fix the problem. I also want to get a 2-inch level lift. Oh, that person's getting pulled over and they don't even realize it. Oh, my gosh. They were just, they just kept going. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just saw my friend and I waved to her and she probably was like, why does he have a GoPro on his head? Oh my gosh. All right, I might do another vlog after work. Probably not, but maybe. All right, see you guys. Thanks for watching.